Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the new SIO12 Pro Max portable soldering iron from Secure. It's a slight upgrade from the SIO12 Pro, uh, so we'll, in this video we'll find out what the Max is talking about. First up I'll just show you what we get in the little case. This is a, a wonderful little sort of pocket case for portable soldering iron uses have a transparent case which is very very groovy inscribed on the barrel we can see the power inputs can be DC 5525 12 volt to 25 volts 3s to 6s input and the PD 3.0 input and what they've done is added extra contacts in the barrel here so that you can now uh, use three different sorts of tips and they've given me some to show I don't think this actually comes in the so the compatible tips are T12 TS and the added SI tips, shorter tips. And we also have Chinese, English and Russian languages and we have a colour mood lighting as well. So they are the additions that make this the max version. We also get a coil of solder, very nice. A little soldering uh, stand and sponge pad there. Allen key and screws for mounting the tips. QR code for the manual and some secure stickers as well. So let's go over to the website and uh, have a closer look at some of the specs. So we're over on the secure website. Here is the S012 Pro Max selling for 30 bucks, which is amazing, but I think you only get one tip with that. The, here are all the different sorts of tips that you can use with it. Uh, it comes with the T1B2, which is a fine tipped um, good for tiny little soldering jobs, but you can get all these other sorts of tips as well. Four different possible power supplies, built-in buzzer, supports firmware upgrades, and Chinese, English, and Russian, as we said, and added LED color mood lights, which is pretty funky. Temperature control range 50 to 450 degrees C, which is plenty really. Uh, I usually only use 350 or up to 400 if I've got some thicker wire to solder. Here are the different power supplies, just straight LiPo battery or a PD mobile power block, USB PD style power or, or straight power block, multicolor ambient light display, turn it on and off as you like, USB-C for firmware updates and here's the power input, A and a B key, and they call it a 65 watt soldering iron, but you can see it's sort of a variety of wattage depending on which input you use. All right, let's do some actual soldering. I have my little set of pins that I have to solder onto the, to the little receiver there. So, so we'll choose this little tip here. You just have to pop it in and tighten up the retaining bolts on either side. It's nice and secure now. All right, so we'll plug the power in. So you push and hold the A button to get it heating up. Now it's heating up to 350 and I should be able to do some soldering. So let's have a quick look through the menu now. I think B gives us the menu. Push and hold B. Yes, we can now scroll through all the menu items. Let's have a look at iron. Push and hold to go into the menu. Working temperature, temperature step, temperature compensation, temperature unit, temperature shield, buzzer, start heat factory set, and push and hold to back out of that, or no, to, to actually change the items. There we go. 
and I think we push both of them to back out. There we go. Yeah, push and hold. Uh, we can set the sleep time, the sleep temperature, idle time, sensitivity, screen open. Push and hold both to get out of there. Sorry, I'm a bit close in here. And back right out again. So uh, you can investigate, by looking at the manual, you can investigate all the different um, menu items. Um, but But as you can see, that is a very useful and groovy little soldering iron from Secure. A slight update from the SI12 Pro, the SI12 Pro Max. Pretty good value for money, I think. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.